Hello YouTube, it is me again and I'm back, but I'm back to talk about Pretty Little Liars. This is going to be my third theories video on this show, and what I'm going to do is talk about the liars only since it's the shortest, you know, amount of people, and plus the minor characters have so many things going on, I don't know what they're going to do, but the liars are the main, main part of the show, as we all know. So I'm going to start from which, I, which liar who I think is going to have the least on the storyline to the one that's going to have the most. So... To me, Hannah is going to have the least, considering what happened to her character. And now I'm going to say spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. I've seen some stuff, spoiler stuff on Instagram and everything. So spoilers for Ravenswood, spoilers for the for the show. Okay, now, um, I think Hannah's going to have relationship problems because Caleb is in Ravenswood. She might get jealous of the girl that Caleb was hanging out with. And, um, so there's going to be some tension there. Maybe they will break up. Maybe they will, you know, have a rift. Maybe they will take a break. And I've been hearing that she might have a new love interest. Why? But, you know, it's going to be that guy, Travis, the bald head guy that held her out in that hold down episode. And plus, she's going to have trouble with being, with Allison being alive, considering Allison bullied her about her weight when she was hefty Hannah. That's what the nickname that she gave her. So that's going to be her storyline. Moving on to Emily. Um, I think Emily's storyline this season is going to be really attached to Allison. Considering she was in love with Allison. And she has this idealized image of Allison when she was alive and when she thought she was dead. Um, now that she's alive, she's going to have these conflicting feelings. I think Emily's going to be the only one that's going to give Allison a chance to talk. Because that's how, she, that's how Emily is. While all the other girls are going to be trying to have Emily stay away from Allison. She's going to be rebellious and try to go after her and everything. And I think it's going to cause her trouble with her and Paige's relationship. Um, considering Allison bullied Paige. Uh -huh. And um, they're going to have trouble there. But I think ultimately what's going to come down to is that, you know, Emily has developed a lot through these past four seasons of her being herself and everything. So I think she's going to come to the conclusion being like, Allison, I care for you, but I I don't think of you that way anymore. She's not in love with her anymore. And I think Allison should come out and say that she was never in love with Emily. She, even though, I think they were really good friends, but I don't think Allison had those feelings for Emily at all. I think Allison used Emily's feelings for her own gain, and I think that's kind of a sick thing to do. Um, so there's that. I'm not sure what else is going to happen in Emily's storyline, whether it be with her parents or with A. You know, A is going to affect all of them in any other way, but about their individual storylines. So ultimately, at the end, I think Emily's going to overcome this eventually and be with Paige, and their relationship is going to only go, only going to grow stronger from this. <sighs> Ooh, that was my fool. Okay, now to Spencer. Um, mainly with Spencer, she's going to deal with Toby and his... <clears throat> boring storyline with his mother so she's gonna have she's gonna have a lot with that um apparently what i've been hearing from certain spoilers is that she's gonna start taking pills to make herself smarter or to make herself more alert so she can get straight a's and everything so you can get to a college and i think she's gonna have that guy um if y'all know his name put him put him in the comments but um that guy with the glasses that took his shirt off in season 3b um that was in that competition thing with Spencer she he's going to come back and probably help her out with this and apparently the guy from the Vampire Diaries who played Cole he's going to come in and be with Spencer for something I don't know put in the comments if you know what's going to happen with that because I generally do not know why they're why they're back um so there's that um maybe Melissa is going to start playing around this season I'm not sure she's back for something and hopefully they'll give her more interest with that and um, anything else? Maybe her, her parents are, are coming back. So it's going to be some drama there because you know it, a drama with Spencer's family is never ending. So it's going to be that. So that's Spencer's, that's what I think is going to happen with Spencer's storyline. Mainly it's going to be with her and Toby and all that. And her dealing with Allison. I think she's going to be the leader of being against Allison and her being alive and pulling, you know, Emily away. And she's going to have trouble with her. Emily's going to have like a fallout or something to do that whatever so there's her storyline um now to aria we all know why aria is going to have the most storylines because um ezra is supposedly supposed to be a so here's this um you know this is all theories 
maybe it's some spoilers, so I don't know. Apparently, Arya is going to go through it this season. Lucy has hinted that she might be tortured for something. I don't know. So there's that. Um, Lucy is the actress who plays Arya, if you didn't know. Um, Arya, I'm going to talk about her relationship with Ezra. Um, Ezra is helping Mona out. Mona is seeking out Ezra for tutoring, but I don't think that's it. Um, so there's that. Um, and Mona is, I think, intentionally trying to put herself in Arya's life. And so a big spoiler here is that Mona's new love interest is going to be Mike, which is Arya's brother. So that would be kind of interesting. Um, and then Arya's going to have to deal with another duel with Allison being alive. She's not going to be happy about it. She's kind of conflicted about it and everything. Um, she's wondering around who's going to be a... Her and Ezra may have, I've heard, a sex scene or somewhere in 4B and play around with that. But I think ultimately towards the end of the season, they're all going to find out that Ezra has something to do with um, Allison. Her, maybe her death or maybe he had you know an encounter with Allison you know kissing her or do something really sexual I don't know so there's that that's gonna have a big impact on her and Ezra's relationship and as for um, Arya herself like I said she's gonna be the main target this season finally she's going to have troubles with her relationship that may be life-threatening to her and maybe to Ezra and a big secret is gonna be probably tear them apart during the end of this season so there's that if I have left out anything about these characters or their relationships put the comment below what do you think is going to happen with these um the liars um do you think Allison being alive is going to help the liars or play against them um what are you most looking for in 4B and uh yeah bye YouTube